Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sherrard Show. I am your host, Sherrard, live on location at Taft High School in Woodland Hills, California. We're here for a very special event, Soundtrack of Success. This is an event uh, that is going to highlight and showcase the talent that is all across Southern California, all of the different youngsters who are showcasing their talent, honoring uh, legends who've come before them, and also showcasing what they can do. I'm sure we have some very, very special guests that's going to be here today. We have Fluke, Fluker, who's here. Um, he is an activist, and also um, he works very hard on highlighting not just what kids are doing, but especially African-American kids as well. And then we're going to also have the legendary uh, Sean Stockman from Boys to Men. He's going to be stopping by the Shiraz Show to kind of offer some words of wisdom to the kids, as well as talk about his success and his continued success with the hit group Boys to Men. So you definitely don't want to miss this interview today. It's going to be very, very exciting. And you also want to be able to check it out on Facebook at the Show.com. I'm Sherrard. When we come back, we're going to have our first guest. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show, I am your host, Sherrard, live on location at Taft High School in uh, Woodland Hills, California, for this uh, soundtrack to success. This is an awesome event that um, just have showcasing young people about what they're doing, highlighting their careers, and also inspiring them to greatness. So I'm Sherrard, I'm very excited here. You know, as I was coming in, getting set up for this interview, I heard a, a voice that sounded like an angel. And it was um, this young lady right here to my right, just really getting down. Sound like the next Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston. Welcome, Jakari, to the Sherrard Show. How are you? Good. I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Now, young lady, how long have you been singing like that? Um, I want to say about seven, seven years old. Since you were seven. So yeah. you're about uh, 14 now, huh? No, <laughs> I'm 17. Oh, okay. I got two older than you, young lady. So, so now, um, your now, what's your inspiration? Who inspired you um, to get on the track to being a singer? Um, I think of the greats: Whitney Houston, Chaka Khan, Gladys Knight, Patti LaBelle. Yeah, and you hear her voice the way she sounds. She does sound a bit like Gladys Knight. Now, what was the song that you were singing, and what were your inspiration behind singing? Um, the song that I sang was "I Know Where I've Been" by Queen Latifah. Um, what made me want to sing it is just a reflection of the African culture and our past and how much we persevere through the struggles. That's pretty awesome. So now, um, if you're going to pursue singing, um, what is your genre? You know, because see, music has changed. You know, for me, I grew up listening to The Temptations, Smokey Robinson, uh, Sam Cooke, the list goes on. Now, you know, music is a bit different in what it is uh, in terms of what it's talking about. Now, what is your favorite uh, kind of genre of music? Um... I don't have a favorite. <laughs> um, I don't have a favorite genre. I think um, I can sing anything that um, I'm given. So I don't know. I don't have a genre. You know, and it's, it's amazing because this girl has a natural, beautiful voice, and um, we definitely want to see more of what she has and what she's doing. Now, where can we be able to, uh, my fans out there, be able to see you sing or hear more about Mrs. Jakara from Taft High School? Well, you can check my YouTube channel um, at Jakari Jones. And um, social media, underscore, a dose of J, underscore. Oh, she's getting down. Now, are you yeah. going to sing something else tonight? Um, I mean, later on this afternoon, or is that the only, only song we're going to hear? No, that was the only song. Well, definitely check out her YouTube channel. This young lady is going to be blowing it up. And 10 years from now, she may be the next Gladys Knight. But I'm Sherrard. Thank you for stopping by the thank Sherrard you. Show, young lady. Best to you. It's wonderful when you hear about great things young people are doing. When, I, when we come back after this commercial break, we're going to have Mr. Fluke Fluker stop by the show. This man is tall, and he's doing tall things. <laughs> we'll be right back right after this. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I am your host, Sherrard, live on location at Taft Charter High School in Woodland Hills, California. You know, I'm, I'm very honored to be here for the soundtrack of my success. All these wonderful people that are stopping by the show, inspiring me. We just heard from the young lady who was a great, great singer and doing big things. Only 17 years old, Jacora. And she's going to be doing some big things. It's actually sound like the next Gladys Knight. So look forward for her. Next 10 years, I guarantee you, she's going to be singing with her version of the Pips. And right here to my right, we have a pastor and his wife. Both pastors um, are standing here right to my right. 
And um, this is Kelvin and Cheryl Verrett. They stopped by the Sherrard Show just to kind of give their insight about what they've been up to and the reason for them stopping by the soundtrack of my success. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, wonderful. Hey, great to guys have us here. I am Pastor Kelvin, as my, my brother just introduced us, and my wife, Pastor Cheryl. We are here because we fight and fall fire for Jesus. We come to the show today to glean from you guys to see what you're doing because we're a new ministry in the community, and we actually minister right here at Taft High School. Amen. Okay? And we're here just to learn, to see what you guys are doing, and see if we can be part of what that, um, what that explosion is as you guys are interested in the, in the young people and the schools. Amen, amen. Now, um, we appreciate you stopping by. Now, your services are on Sundays? Yes, we're on Sunday mornings here at Taft High School in Taft Hall at 10 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. Non-denominational, we just love preaching the Word of God and seeing lives being transformed. Amen, that's awesome. And so for you, um, Pastor uh, Verrett the Misses, now, um, how long have you all been doing this here at Taft? Yeah. Actually, we're a young ministry, and we've been here at Taft High School for, since March of 2017. But I got to tell you, we're on fire. We love people. It's a multicultural church, and we love God. So we are in, uh, inviting the whole community to come. And I want to go back to your question. You're asking, why are we here? We believe in pouring back into, the na into our community. And I received a voicemail, and it invited us to come over. And we could not hold ourselves back to come and to be a part of what God is doing in our community to pour back into the next generation. That's pretty awesome stuff that you're doing. It's so great to hear positive messages of what you have coming. Now, what time does services start on Sunday? It actually starts at 10 a.m. Yes. And we have praise and worship, what to expect, praise and worship. We have child care. And we have a wonderful, relevant word from God. Yes. That is so awesome. and appreciate that. And we definitely hope that these young people continue doing things for the Lord. And just being able to uh, bring that positive message. We really appreciate you stopping by. And one last question for you, Lee. Are you all on Facebook or social media? Yes, we are. We're on Facebook. Relevant Church, WH is our handle for Facebook. Or you look up Relevant Church of Woodland Hills, California. And we are on Google. We are on the... Um, we're YouTube, Google, Twitter, we're on every Instagram. Social media. You just, just plug in Relevant Church of Woodland Hills and you got us. And we are plugged in and we believe in people. We believe in seeking the lost, teaching the found, and making disciples of the nations. Amen. We really Amen. appreciate you stopping by the Sherrard Show. Thanks for coming by. Thank Definitely you. come by to the church. You want to have a wonderful time. And believe you me, if you didn't work out in your life, don't blame it on the church. I'm Sherrard. When we come back, we're going to have the iconic, the iconic, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Stockman from Boys and Men, right after this. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I am your host, Sherrard, having a great time at the soundtrack of your success. I'm just being able to talk about definitely inspiring the young people here at Taft High School in Woodland Hills, California. I hope you're enjoying the show today. Um, we had some very special guests. If you missed it earlier, we had a songstress, a young lady who was just singing so well. You know, she sounded like the next Gladys Knight, and she was only 17 years mm -hmm. old, just really, really getting down. And this is what this is all about this morning, uh, just inspiring young people to greatness. You always hear uh, bad things on the news, um, negative things, but here it is, you know, we're just highlighting the youth. And right along with that is a gentleman to my right. He is a Grammy award-winning singer. He's a legend in the industry. He's been around for many, many years. He's still young. Uh, one of the uh, members of the legendary iconic group, uh, Boys to Men, Sean Stockton. Welcome to the Sherrard Show. How are you, sir? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. Now, tell us a little bit about why you stopped by today here at Taft High School, because you had a great positive message. What were some of the things you were sharing? You know, it's funny, because I don't really... Uh, I'm, I'm not normally in this capacity. Um, normally, when people want to see me, they normally put a mic in my hand and tell me to sing a song. So I was kind of unarmed to some degree. Mm -hmm. um, so this is kind of like my first time having a, a conversation like this, and hopefully this won't be the last. But um, it was just me um, just kind of showing support, first off, just being here and, and just uh, letting the kids and the parents know how important it is um, to be for each other and um, that's really what it was and, and when I when I think about what I said like I wish I, I would have said more um, but like like I said this is my first time doing this so I had a lot of thoughts in my head so I didn't really get to articulate what I really wanted to, to put down and, and basically say that you know when it came to people like my that look like me as far as skin color and things of that nature to for them to understand and know how truly incredible they are and how amazing they are and how talented and how intelligent that they truly are um, despite what society might have put 
uh, the stigma on based on our skin color. Like we are amazing human beings and we've contributed so much in th this country, uh, this country's history that it shouldn't be overlooked anymore. And they should understand that value. And that's pretty fascinating stuff. Now, um, you mean of all the years that you've been singing and receiving awards all across the world, all across the country, um, this is the first capacity where you really were playing like a motivational speaker? Yeah, I mean, a lot of times people don't really know um, personally my views on life and how it affects me. People just know, you know, I love songs and things like that, which is fine, but, um, this was great because I was able to be a human being and, and able to actually just talk um, just based on what was most important, um, which is the children. That's pretty awesome. Now, when you first started singing uh, in, in Philadelphia and you got motivated, the people told you you were talented, you had what it took to make it, who was the person that motivated you that told you, you know what, you're going to make it? Uh, hell a high wind, you're going to make it. Um, you know what, nobody said that to me, but my mother and father basically told me, you have a gift, see where it takes you. They were realistic. You know, they, they didn't know if this was going to be anything that was going to garnish a career or anything like that, but they knew I had a gift and they didn't, uh, they didn't stifle me. They actually pushed me um, to do more of it because they saw how much I loved it. And that's why I love them because they were able to just tell me, okay, yeah, still try to apply for colleges, uh, you know, to have education as, as, a, as a background, but you do this well, so keep doing it and see where it takes you. And voila, here it is, um, almost 30 years later, just still a chart topper and doing some <laughs> big, big things in the industry. And very inspirational, you know, and, I, and one thing great about your music as we were growing up, because we were about the same age, mm -hmm. is the fact that um, you always had that clean cut image and you always, um, you know, kept going like with the way the Temptations and the Four Tops were say, right. you know, with your music. Right. Now, who was in that genre your biggest inspiration? Um, like New Edition, Take Six, um, The Temptations, like guys like that who uh, just displayed a level of class and soul uh, to their presentation, to their music. Uh, it was something that everybody loved, the girls loved, you know, that was, that was yeah, always yeah. motivation. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, that's really what it was. It was those artists uh, amongst a couple of solo artists like, you know, Michael Jackson, and guys like that, Luther Vandrew, you know, the, 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 the standards. Boy, this man has been getting down for years. Now, I got two more questions for you that I won't keep you. Now, the first question I ask is, now, you were, you were speaking off camera that you have an album coming out. Um, yeah. This coming summer. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it's just in the beginning stages, but um, I actually signed a, a solo deal with Universal Records. And... Um, there should be a, at least a single out this spring and an album out this summer. So we're working pretty fast, but we think that um, it's going to be a, a good album still. Oh, I definitely know anything you come out, that always comes out to gold. Now, are you going to be, uh, what's the, uh, the, the, the content or direction you're going with this particular song? Um, well, the album's called Sean. So it's basically going to be me in, in a sonic you know, a presentation. That's pretty much I, I, people who don't know much about me will know a lot about me with this record. That is pretty cool. Now, now, Sean, one last thing, one last piece of advice for all those who are watching. What would you give someone who's out there on the brink, uh, wanting to get out there in the industry, whether it's in singing, mm -hmm. um, acting, whatever it is, what kind of advice would you like to give them in the entertainment industry or in life? Well, the beautiful thing about today's uh, industry, entertainment, is that you have so many avenues to display your gift. Make a YouTube page, make a IG page, make a Snap page, whatever, and show people what you're what you're able to do, and it'll eventually will circulate. If if it's profound enough, people will, will find you and they'll listen to you or they'll see you, and that's pretty much it. Sean, we want to thank you for all the great kits and songs you made. It's, you've helped a lot of people through bad days, through bad relationships, and just being inspired to make them feel good about themselves. And I really appreciate you um, from the Sherrard Show, Sherrard himself. I really appreciate your style. Thanks a lot. Thank Keep you. Keep being a positive appreciate force. Um, this is uh, Sean from the legendary boys, the men's time by the Sherrard Show. When we come back after this commercial break, we're going to have the gentleman and the scholar, Mr. Fluke Fluker, stopping by the show right after. Fluke.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I am your host, Sherrard, having a wonderful, wonderful time here at Taft High School in Woodland Hills, California, at the soundtrack to my success. Um, we just had Sean from uh, Boys and Men on the Show. Uh, we also had the um, lovely um, young lady, Jakara, who was doing a wonderful job singing. I mean, this lady, this little girl, sounds just like Gladys Knight. I just see great, great things in her future. And then also, we're having um, to my right, this gentleman is a good friend. Um, he is doing huge things. In the community, he, wherever there is something positive going on, you can best believe he's attached to it somewhere. This is the gentleman and a scholar, Mr. Fluke Fluker. Thank Welcome you. to the Sherrod Thank Show. You. How Thank are you, sir? I'm, I'm hanging in there, blessed, and um, it's been a beautiful day, and we look forward to the afternoon. And you know, um, you've been doing so many things, um, you know, in the community, and always your name comes up. But tell everybody back home a little bit more about what you do. Well, um, I'm the co-founder of an organization known as The Village Nation, which started 15 years ago at Cleveland High School. And we simply wanted to empower our kids with the understanding of, of making better choices. And the byproduct of those better choices ended up um, their test scores going through the roof, better attendance, um, and the test scores went up so high that it brought the, caught the attention of the state superintendent. And so he came down to see what was going on, what's this magic of the village nation. And it's basically, you know, it is what it is in the name. Um, it's the gathering of folks in, into a village, into a place that uh, adults care about them. And with that care, um, those, these kids took off into a whole other um, level. And it was so, um, so impactful that it caught the attention of Oprah and uh, we were blessed to do a double feature on her show, and then um, we started getting calls from everybody from Yale to Harvard to all these other institutions of learning, and then uh, um, got, even got invited to the United Nations. Wow, that is huge. Yeah. And this is all based upon you just inspiring the students, or what was the method to the uh, awesomeness? Well, there's a few methods. The, re the cause of it, the reason it was both um, a selfish reason as well as a, a, a collective reason. Um, as a teacher and as an educator, I was embarrassed, upset, angry at the year after year after year um, test results, particularly for our African American kids, and knew that that was not a true reflection of their intelligence. Mm. Uh, and then as a father who had a young daughter at that time coming up, I know although I might have done a good job with her, that that wasn't good enough. That stray bullets know no names. And I need to make sure that the, as many kids as, as I come in contact with were um, enhanced, they were connected to their greatness, to their heritage, to their legacy, and they were connected to something that was greater than themselves. And once that occurred, the sky was the limit. So my question to you, Fluke, is that what is it, uh, who was it that inspired you to greatness? You know, everyone has that moment where they grow up, Right. where the, the, the teacher lets them know that this is not a game anymore. Right. Somebody did it in my life. Right. Who did it in yours? Well, I, I got to give all credit to my mother and father. Um, I was born and raised in Brooklyn, lived in the Tough Projects uh, until I was 17 years old and then um, entered the Marines. But um, my mother and father, were, were they were my best parents, not my best friends, but my best parents. And I think that's a big di um, difference between being best friends and being best parents. Wow, that is awesome. Thanks for serving our country. Yes. A Semper Fi all day long. Oh, okay. That is pretty awesome. So now, um, Luke, tell me, what do you have coming up now? Um, first of all, before you answer that question, you're here at Soundtrack to My Success. Yes. So what are you imparting to the kids here at this event? So what we're trying to do is to let the parents know and the kids know, although they might sit in classrooms of isolation where there's only two or three African-American kids in it, that we can break that isolation, that we can come together um, on Jomo, um, Harambe, um, which are African terms that means pull together and unity, that we can come together, we can support one another, we can support one another um, businesses, we can support, support one another spiritually, academically, and, um, and in that support we can great, again get greater heights um, academically, politically, and, uh, and in all areas. So the whole notion is coming together and, um, and, and, and drawing from that strength. That is pretty awesome. So tell me, um, someone who's watching this show right now, and they say, you know what, I want this man to come and speak. I want him to share his wisdom for my kids right. in my city. Right. Where would they be able to contact you? Well, they can contact me at flukefluka at 
thevillagenation.com. That's the uh, email address. They can go to the Village Nation website, and they can also find our contact information there as well. We well, appreciate you stopping by the Sherrod Show, and I thank you for dedicating that beautiful painting oh. um, at our church, at Receda Boulevard Church of Christ. We really appreciate that. No Wonderful problem. picture. Um, I know he's busy. He has to get back in there, but yes. thanks for stopping by the show. Yes, this sir. man stands tall, six foot <laughs> seven. We thank him for stopping by the show. All right. When we come back, we'll be right, at, right after this. Thank you. Church of Christ, we really appreciate that. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I am your host, Sherrard. Um, you know, we had a wonderful, wonderful time this morning here at Taft High School in Woodland Hills, California. For the soundtrack of my success. That sounds just so beautiful. Everybody has a soundtrack. You know, when you're out there and you're, you know, you're cutting the grass or you're out on a date and about to pick this woman up that you really, really like. You know, there's a soundtrack going on in your ear uh, of, of maybe that's depicting the moment or how you feel. So what is your soundtrack in your life? Well, you know, um, we just want to thank um, all of the guests who stopped by the show. Jakara, the beautiful songstress young lady that's doing really, really big things in the industry. And then we also um, want to thank Fluke Fluker for stopping by the show as well, as well as the pastor, uh, brother and sister Verrett for stopping by the show. And then also the iconic, legendary Sean Stockman from Boys to Men stopping by the Sherrod Show. We really appreciate that. You want to see the full interview um, on my show, just go to WCOBM.TV. And I'm, I'm so excited. And, and ladies and gentlemen, also on my next episode of the Sherrod Show, you don't want to miss it. We're going to have the legendary Tina Knowles to stop by the show to tell her story. If you don't know her, it's Beyonce's mom. She's going to be on the Sherrod Show. So excited to have her. Stay tuned to that and other big things we have coming. Always look at me on Facebook at the Show.com. In the meantime, stay blessed. Remember to set your clocks back tomorrow or tonight for Daylight Savings Time. Until the next time, we'll see you then.